The lower band runs from Loch Ney all the way to Barmouth, north of Coleraine. Anna is walking the lower band. This section of trail runs alongside the river from Hutchinson's Quay all the way down to Port Nar Locks. According to Irish tradition, it's not long before the weather changes and the rain begins. Anna is going to take shelter in the workshop of an artisan woodworker who practices a very local and unusual craft that goes back 300 years. Hello. Hi. You're busy at work. I'm Anna. How are you Anna. doing? Hi, I am Braden. Hi, Braden. How are you getting on? Not too bad. You look like you're busy at work. Sorry to be disturbing you now. Yes. What oh. exactly are you doing? I'm making a, a heel beam for the lock gates here in Port Nau. Okay. This is the start of uh, the gate. How long would it take you to make something like this? About three to four months from start to finish. Wow. What kind of wood are you using then here? This is called Greenheart from Ghana. Okay. Yep. Very dense, very heavy. It doesn't float. Oh, so that would sink in water now? Yeah. Yeah. Incredible. It's, it's so heavy, not easily work with. It can split in any, any direction. And would just be you doing this then? Yeah. Well, they're trying to keep it traditional methods. So how long then has this style of work been going back? Well, the plans actually were produced oh, in wow. sort of mid-1700s mid, mid to oh, late. Very detailed. Yep, all feet and inches. Tradition's obviously a really big thing, though, with something like this. Yep. That's, yep. that's amazing. De definitely. And how hard is it then? Do you reckon I'd be able to give it a go? Oh, yeah, you can give it a go, certainly. Yeah? Yeah, oh. you'll have to wear the shades, though. OK, oh, yep. yeah, very cool shades. Yep. Will this make me do it as good as you now? Hopefully. <laughs> We'll pretend anyway. <laughs> right. There you Give go. this a go now. Yep. You'll find that it's very, very wow. hard. Wow, yeah, I know it is. I maybe make it look easy, but it's... You uh... really do. Oh, look, I got a bit off there now. <laughs> Not going too badly. I can see why you need the glasses. Yep. There's bits of wood flying everywhere. So how long would it take you to do something like this now, like in terms of, would you get tired? Because it's quite manual. Um, well, it, it's, it's really interesting. You know, there's not many guys get to to build these sorts of things. There must be a tremendous sense of pride though that's involved in that, knowing that well, you you know, yeah. you know, helped create this. Yeah, it's, it's nice to, to know that I've left a little bit behind because like, I mean, these things will last maybe 60 years, maybe long after I'm gone. Well, I don't think yeah. I'm going to be giving up the day job anyway because I don't think I'd be that much <laughs> yeah. of a help to you. So well, <laughs> maybe you might have to continue yeah. it on for me. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Try anyway. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Give you back your glasses. Have a nice day. Thank you, you too. As Anna crosses the finished version of the lock gates Braddon is working on, Joe Gillespie, an engineer with Waterways Ireland, is waiting to tell her more about them. Hi, Hi Joe. Anna. How are you? How are you? I actually saw one of these just being made a while ago. These are hardwood uh, lock gates, and we produce them in our stores here in Port Nau. And is the yeah, one obviously. that I saw being made going to replace yep. this one? These are going to be going in very shortly in here into Port Nau. And how old would this one be now? These would be maybe 25, 30 years. Wow, they last yeah. a long time. Well, they do, but uh, if, when they come very leaky, they need to be replaced. You could have structural failures and that sort of thing, so we fabricate them ourselves. So this section looks quite industrial. Is it still being used? This section is being used increasingly by the boating community up and down the river, okay. and also people travel down it from Loch Ney as well, out to the open sea. And we have loads of uh, canoes coming through, oh, and great. we're trying to develop more and more facilities for those canoes and for other people who walk or canoe along the river. We're trying to develop cycling and walking trails right throughout the, the corridor and we're working with the councils and community groups to do that. Thanks so much, Enjoy Joe. Enjoy the trip. 